everyone, my name is Pratiksha Sahu from DAV Public School, Chandrasekharpur. Today I am going to tell a story about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time there was a little girl with golden curly hair. Her name was Goldilocks. One day Goldilocks was playing near her home when she saw a butterfly. She tried to be catched but the butterfly flew away. She chased it but the butterfly flew away. Soon Goldilocks was lost but then she saw a small house in the middle of the woods. Goldilocks said, I am sure whoever lives here she will help me find my way back. Then Goldilocks knocked the door three times. Knock, knock, knock. In the third knock the door was open. Then Goldilocks said, No one is home. Then Goldilocks smelled a delicious smell. Her tummy rumbled lightly. Then she decided to go inside. On the table in the small house were three poles. One large bowl, one medium bowl and a small bowl. Then Goldilocks said, I am sure whoever lives here won't find out if I eat little bit of this porridge. Then Goldilocks tied a spoon from large bowl. Then Goldilocks said, Oh my God, oh my God, this porridge is so hot. Then Goldilocks tied a spoon from medium bowl. Then Goldilocks said, Ew, this porridge is so cold. Then Goldilocks tried a spoon from small bowl. Then Goldilocks said, this porridge is just right. Then Goldilocks ate it all. Then Goldilocks was very, very tired. Then Goldilocks went to the living room. In the living room, she saw three chairs. A big chair, a medium chair and a small chair. Goldilocks said, "Who? I am sure whoever lives here will find out if I rest here. Then Goldilocks sat on the big chair. Then Goldilocks said, Oh my God, this chair is not comfortable. Then Goldilocks sat on the medium chair. Then Goldilocks deep in the cushions. Then Goldilocks said, Oh my God, this, bed, this chair is so cozy. Then Goldilocks, Goldilocks sat on the small chair. Then Goldilocks said, This is just flat. Suddenly the chair broke into the pieces. Then Goldilocks was very, very sleepy. Then Goldilocks went to the bedroom. In the bedroom she saw three beds. A big bed, a medium bed and a small bed. Then Goldilocks said, I am sure whoever lives here won't find out if I sleep here. Then Goldilocks laid on the big bed. Then Goldilocks said, Oh my God, this bed is so hard. Then Goldilocks slept on the medium bed. Then Goldilocks said, Oh my God, this bed is so soft. Then Goldilocks slept on the small bed. Then Goldilocks said, This bed is just right. After some time, three beds came home. They were very surprised to see front door was open. Then Papa Bear said, Somebody ate my porridge. Then Mama Bear said, Somebody ate my porridge too. Then Baby Bear said, Somebody definitely ate my porridge. It's all grown. Cried the Baby Bear. Then three bears went to the living room. Find out who ate their porridge. Then Papa Bear said, I believe somebody sat on my chair. Then Mama Bear said, I believe somebody sat on my chair too. Then Baby Bear said, I believe somebody definitely sat on my chair. It's, bro it's broke into pieces. Then three bears went to the bedroom. Find out who sat on their chairs. Then Papa Bear said, I believe somebody slept on my bed. Then Mama Bear said, I believe.
help somebody slept on my bed too. And baby bear said, she is still here, sleeping on my bed. Goldilocks wake up. Goldilocks run and run through the kitchen and the front door. Goldilocks run and run until she get out of the forest and reached home. From the dark day, Goldilocks never ever went to the forest. And the three bears never ever saw 